we usually occupy 24 hours of our mind's time. Whether it's wake up, radio, big boy in the morning, you're going through big boy. All right, cool. Now you're on to your CDs. Where are the single ladies? Where am I single ladies? <laughs> so now you get to the office. Like, hey, what's up, you guys? Okay, these reports do, yada, yada, yada. What's lunch? Okay, we're at lunch. Hey, what you guys do this weekend? Yada, yada, Go through that. Drive it home. Where was it in the afternoon? You listen to that. You get inside the house. Oh, it's dinner. Hey, honey. We're, did we eat? All that stuff. Okay, cool. Now let's watch TV. Ooh, at news. Go to bed. Your mind has got zero time to work. When you're able to just shut up at least for half an hour to an hour, can do it in the morning. I usually get to do it at night because I'm not a big morning person, but when I do it in the morning, it's always great. I love it. Just take the time, no phone, no email, no TV, no radio, just shut up, sit. At first, you're like, oh, it's okay, so I'm sitting. Ah, sitting, sitting, sitting. I got to do this, I got to do that. Shut up. Get past that. Just sit there. After a while, when your mind keeps telling you to go get up and do something and you don't, it's going to get, it's not get upset. It's going to be like, all right, forget it. Fine. Do you then. And then your mind will start to process things. And then it's like it will come to life. Because it was so bombarded with everything else you've been putting at it, it hasn't had any time to think about things. 